Okay, it's time to restring a guitar. Let's see what we've got on the bench today. Okay, so this is an agile seven string. And uh, she's dusty. It's got a lot of uh, dirt or something on here. Lots of dust in here. Uh, but it is a seven string reverse headstock, hardtail, volume, three way switch tone. Let's plug it in, see if she makes noise. It's got the barrel jack, output jack. I don't really like those. They're hard to mess with and change out. Electronics seem good. So that's a bonus. Yeah, so real quick, let's just see what the what it feels like here. Feels like kind of heavier strings. Uh, this guitar uh, got traded in a month or two, and it's been sitting in the store in this condition. So there's a F sharp. C sharp, G sharp, where, where's D? Yeah, so it's been tuned a half step down. And let's take a look and see what gauge strings are on here. So that looks like a 10, and the E string says a 46. So 10 through 46, seven gauge set that low. Uh, B string looks like a 62 so uh, yeah I think she just needs um, I think she just needs cleaned up and a new set of strings on it is it a long scale guitar nope this is short uh, okay let's see here I have my notch straight edge, and um, it doesn't fit in here. Wait, there it goes. Okay, you got to start it down at the third fret. Um, there's some relief in the neck. I could snug that down a little bit. And there's also plenty of room right here on the bridge to lower the action. So I think all we really need to do on this pretty thing is to take these strings off, shine it up, and put a new set of strings on it. Looks like a plastic nut. Uh, looks like it's installed nicely and it's cut nicely. Lots of dust. Now, Agile guitars, I've seen them around, um, but guys, do me a favor and get in the comments. That was my front door. Do me a favor and get in the comments. Let me know what these things are selling for used. I don't think they're a very expensive guitar. Uh, looks like uh, Agile Guitars. Where's that handcrafted? Uh, does that say Indonesia on it? Maybe South Korea? But do me the favor of looking this thing up, giving me some information. I think this might be a four or $500 guitar brand new. I could be way off, but I think that's uh, all they go for. So on the used market, there may be like 350 or something like that. So leave me some comments, guys, and let's get these strings off of here. Part of uh, my job is to just clean things. When you're in a used guitar shop, you need everything to look as pretty and new and shined up as possible. 
And I've actually known some guitar shops, or, you know, pawn shops do that. They're guilty of that. They, uh, they buy and sell musical instruments and guitars and stuff. And they don't usually sp spend any time whatsoever getting the dust off the things. So that sort of sets me apart from the average uh, guitar that you would pick up out of a uh, pawn shop somewhere. Yeah. I counted my inventory um, recently and I have yeah. approximately 450 yeah. guitars in the shop right now. So I've got a lot of guitars I'm trying to sell. Yeah, so I've been freaking out a little bit about how many guitars I, I, I have right now and how many I own. And there are some consignment pieces down here. But I probably own maybe at least, uh, you know, 425 of those, 450 that are in the store. And uh, these YouTube videos, they help me sell these guitars. A lot of you guys watch my videos and you'll call me once in a while and you'll say, Hey, do you have that guitar that was in that one video? And I'm like, yeah, do you want it? And they'll go, yeah, man, ship it to me. And uh, I do that. Although I don't do reverb and I don't put stuff on eBay. And I definitely do not do anything with like local Craigslist. And I definitely don't do anything on Facebook Marketplace. And I definitely don't do anything on, uh, what is it, OfferUp. So I leave all those sites alone. Okay, since we're down here on this side of the guitar, let's see if these tuners need snuck down. There we go. Oh, easy there. You yeah, have a lot of guitars and sometimes it freaks me out how many guitars I have. And they're all packed here in this store. I don't have anything at my house. I don't have a storage locker. You know, no, you watch Norman's Rare Guitars. And that man has great guitars all packed up in these fancy indoor climate controlled warehouses and stuff. No, don't have anything like that. Everything is in here in store. So all you guys, if, when you're in the Phoenix area, I'm over in Mesa. Come and visit, okay? I've been getting a lot of guys visiting that watch my videos from all over the United States and uh, Phoenix is a pretty large city and there's times when you're going to be in Phoenix Arizona State University is right down the street if you're ever in town for the Super Bowl we have a lot of Super Bowls out there at Cardinals Stadium even though the Cardinals are never in one but we have a big, beautiful city right here. So when you guys are in town, come and visit. Okay, I got some of this Music Nomad F1 oil. And it works good for me. I see a lot of guys uh, in a lot of comments and they tell me what kind of things that they end up using. So after my bottle of F1 oil is empty, there's a good chance that I could get something else and order some other type of product and experiment with that. So um, this stuff seems to work great and I love using it. But I am not against experimenting with other products. Leave it in the comments what you guys like to use to hydrate and clean your fretboards.
Getting a lot of something off of there. Something's coming off, that's for sure. So, just taking a look at the frets now. Um, I don't say I don't see anything on here that looks like these frets have any uh, damage or they don't look like the guy who owned this guitar played it very much. So I'm going to call the condition of these frets. I'm going to call this condition uh, very good, possibly even excellent. All right, here's what uh, this sweet little guitar is going to get today. Ernie Ball, seven string regular slinkies, made in USA, Coachella, California, 10 through 56. String through the body. Wow. Barely long enough. This string might not be long enough. There we go. Let's see what happens here. Let's just crank this down a little bit. There we go. Let's just take a look and see if she looks kind of flat and straight on there. I think this end needs to come down a little bit. But you got to be careful because this low B string, it'll start to buzz because there's a lot of back and forth vibration in these lower strings and a lot of guys are like oh my E string buzzes because I mean look at the distance you can see that how far these strings vibrate and when you're pressing down I mean there's at least a good you know easily what are we gonna look at here You know, at least an easy eighth inch where the string vibrates back and forth. Maybe even more than that. So, yeah, low strings, they'll buzz. Because they need a lot of room to, to move back and forth. Now, I've got this thing tuned. Half step down. Cut these off of here. I might need to get a different low B string for it because that thing is just barely hanging on down here on the tuner. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys a better view of it. So yeah, she's barely hanging on. Seems like it's holding, but um, I think this guitar is long enough where you need a longer string you might want to use baritone strings on this guitar all the others seemed fine but uh, let me look at this what the actual scale length is see if I got my tape measure here handy here we go 27 this is a baritone so I put the wrong strings on here. I need a low B string that is for a baritone guitar. So there you go. I should have checked that at the beginning. 
This thing is a baritone. How cool is that? It's kind of cool. I know I just screwed up on the low B string, but uh, it's all good. I'll, I'll find another string for it. this low B string but here it is it, it's an uh, agile and it is a baritone I found that out about halfway through my restring video but there you guys go thank you so much for watching it's a ripper I don't know how to play it.